Well, hello and a welcome. This is Nate. I'd like to say thanks for clicking on the video. And uh, what do I got a good one for you today? We've got the Tinsley. It's 2,000 a square foot, four bedrooms, two bathrooms, features a living room, a family room. You've got a butler style pantry in this one. And uh, this Tinsley, like I said, is 2,000 square foot, made by Clayton Homes. You can find this at Oakwood Homes here in Oklahoma City. As I was trying to say, make sure you're checking out the uh, descriptions, clicking on the links, getting more information on these homes. In case uh, you haven't no or in case you're new here, so I've kind of seen a little bit of an influx of new people. In the description is a link to this home back to this dealer to get you their price on this home. And trust me, all you want to stick around for the price on this one. So we have our sliding glass door there. Now it's not fully trimmed out as you can see, as the rest of the windows are already trimmed out. When this home gets set up, that'll be fully trimmed out. There's also a couple spots on the inside that aren't trimmed out. Most of the home is done. So with that, let's uh, come back around and get to the good stuff. Really like the colors they used right here at the entranceway. And as an added upgrade, you got the ring doorbell. In our living room area, there is your front door with the uh, three over three window in there. Now all your vents are in the ceiling in this home. Of course, you can see this is a very wide open floor plan here. So we'll just come right on into the dining room. There is your sliding glass door. Depending on how you choose to set this up, you could have a smaller table going this way or this really large table and you could actually come down, clear down into this area here is classified as dining room. But you've got, what do we got, six person? And that's a big table for six person too. Moving on around, we have this really big island. Now it's not necessarily long, but it is pretty wide. We've got the USB plug right there. It's 
So we've got our coffee bar sitting next to our gunmetal gray Frigidaire appliances. And then the stainless steel sink. So it has the big farmhouse style sink. And in our island over here we've got lots of drawers and cabinets with the gold pulls on them. And they use those same ones for the rest of the cabinets also, by the way. And this comes down into the start of your pantry area. Now they got the coffee pot set right here. I think I'd have it over by the fridge. I'm sure most of you would probably agree with that. And back behind everything is your utility room with your breaker box, your furnace, and then at that end is going to be your water heater. And then our side-by-sides going right here. So let's see, we checked out the living room, we checked out the dining room, the kitchen. I guess that means we have to come down here and look at this living area. Now this one has the beams running across the ceiling. See what I'm saying? You've got all this space that you can come back to to make a much bigger table if you needed to. We've got the Hunter brand ceiling fan. And this one has an accent wall for your entertainment area. Now this one kind of shows the way they build the, you know, the energy efficiency for this area. Now, depending on the area that you live in, these could be different because you have different codes in different areas. And of course, the colder areas, you're going to want a little bit more than R11 insulation. You're probably going to want something more like R13 or, or 15. And probably closer to R40 in your ceiling versus R33. So just depending on the area, that is part of what affects the price. Because I've noticed in filming that up north, where I film at a lot, prices are more expensive for the homes. They have to be built to a different code. A lot more insulation goes into them, you know, and then you've got the snow load that you have to accommodate for in the roof so that makes the roofs have to be a lot stronger and things like that which all that comes into play when you're looking at the price of these homes now here in oklahoma they have to be built to a certain wind code and that usually has to do with um the hangers and stuff like that that they use to tie the roof down with and to tie the home down to the ground. And 
This one's got a nice big walk-in closet. Oops, we didn't quite get all the way over, did we? There, it finally turned. Huh. And moving on to the next bedroom. Or should we get the bathroom? Yeah, let's do the bathroom first. So in our bathroom, we've got the standalone sink. And then we move into the rest of the bathroom. Now they went with the single piece shower tub combo in here with this matte black uh, fixture here. dual lights in the overhead recess it was in all the other bedrooms also all right I guess we got to get down to the uh, master bedroom now or the primary bedroom. So we've got the dual overhead lights and then uh, we've got the ceiling fan here. Now I don't know if you can actually get a light hanging down from there, but uh, it'll probably be a little bit low anyway. And then into our closet. I guess that only leaves one more room to go into. That would be our primary bathroom with the dual square porcelain sinks. And I'm gonna say hello, hello, hello. I know, I'm just kidding, playing around. <laughs> Fading out. Actually, I think I'm gonna be drinking a lot of water today. It is, I'm already hot. <laughs> it's only, 11 o'clock in the morning and it is hot and muggy here a really nice counter here we've got a stack of drawers and the window does open up nice size tub big floor to ceiling window right in the back of your tub area there And then the shower around your glass matches all your fixtures that they used, as did all the handles. We've got dual benches in here. And how about some dual comments in the comment section below? What do you think of the home? What kind of changes would you like to see? What kind of upgrades would you like? That kind of stuff. 
let me know what you thought. And uh, I'll be back with some price information here shortly. But don't forget to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications. All that good stuff. And I will see you soon. All right, so now we got to get some price information for you on this particular home. This is a 2016 square foot uh, double wide called the Tinsley. Four bedrooms, two bathrooms, big dining room, big living room, big family room. You had that farmhouse style bathroom in the master. So with that, we are at June of 2023. Oakwood Homes here in Oklahoma City. This is a Clayton built home and they have this home starting at $176,000. They've got it listed normal price at $210,000 but currently on sale for $180,000 as you saw it today. Now remember there could be extra city fees, extra county fees, things like that that we can't always account for. So with that in mind, hit the like button, subscribe button, notification bell, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.